Okay, in the previous demos, I showed you various alignment features. And in this demo, again, working with the concept of workflow shortcuts, I wanna show you the step and repeat option, which is really cool. I'm gonna to go to file and open. In chapter three, folder number nine, step and repeat. I've got a one little frame. Okay, it's got an X, even though I'm not going to put a photo in there. I just drew a picture frame. And when I click on this with my black arrow, it tells me this is exactly two inches wide and two inches high. Well, my page is exactly eight inches. You can see six, seven, and then it goes to zero, but that would be eight. And it's eight inches tall. Okay, so I have room to put four boxes across and four boxes down, but all I have to draw is one. So I'm gonna select that box, with my black arrow, and now I go to edit, step, and repeat. Okay, the first thing you do is you turn off the preview and you set both of these to zero. There we go. Okay, now I turn on the preview and now I start working with this. So the count, I want three more across. So I'll dial that up to three. Horizontally, these are all two inches. So I'm gonna highlight the horizontal field. And if I want them all to line up side to side to side, I'll hit the up arrow until they're all two inches apart from each other. Right there side by side by side by side. I'll click OK, select all four of those, and now I'll do it again vertically. So edit, step and repeat, turn off the preview, because see it remembered the last setting, so it's making four more over here. So turn off your preview, set everything back to zero, now I turn on the preview, and now I want three more vertically. So I'll just hit the up arrow until I go down two inches vertically from each other. And there we go. All two inch frames perfectly spaced apart from each other. Now I can click outside, deselect them all, and then fill every other box. So I'm gonna click here, skip and shift click, click on the fill and fill those red. Okay, so now I'll do it by each row. Click, skip, shift, skip, shift click, skip, shift click, skip, shift click, skip, shift click, and fill them red. W for preview and there's an instant checkerboard grid layout. Awesome. I only had to draw one rectangle or one square in this case and use shortcut, step and repeat. So that is step and repeat using one um, row or one set of columns, one set of rows. But I wanna show you another one, how to create an instant grid. Okay, grids are a little more confusing, so I do step and repeat. Step and repeat them across, then step and repeat them down. That's the old-fashioned way of doing it. I'm going to select all these and delete. Select these and delete, and I'll hit W again. And now I want to show you the grid. Okay, instead of doing one row and then a bunch of more. Edit, step and repeat, turn off the preview, Set these both to zero. Now what I want to do is create as a grid. Okay, so I want three more rows and three more columns. Now I'm going to hit, turn on my preview. Type two for this one. Right there. Oops. Well, darn, that wasn't three rows. Oh, okay. I thought it was adding three more rows. Okay, I want four rows. There we go. Now let's set it back to two. Okay, I want four columns. Now set up, see, I knew it was confusing. But now I can do it both 
horizontally and vertically if I click the create as grid. You just got to remember it's what is the total that you want at the end, four. Whereas using step and repeat is like, hey, I already got the first one. I want three more. Create as grid is asking for the final result. So it takes a little bit of practice, but that's how you can do it. Create as a grid. Click outside. And we'll do that one more time. Click, shift, 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 click, and make my grid. W for preview. There we go. Okay, practice with both methods. Get the hang of this because I can guarantee again, you're going to see this page on your midterm. I'm going to ask you to create that same grid. So you got to remember how to use step and repeat. Midterm will be, I think, 13 pages. Each page focuses on a different technique. One of them is step and repeat, literally this checkerboard grid. So you're going to have to understand how to do it. If you forgot, review the video.